I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 262. Find a fiscal month start date based off a monthly offset. I showed you in episode 261 how to find a fiscal month end date based off of some uh, month entry for a month and a year. But let's say I wanted to go back three months or six months or 18 months from the month that I entered and I want to find the fiscal start date of that month, you know, three, six, 18 months ago. How can I do that in Quantrix Modeler? This uh, basic matrix again, where I have uh, two matrices, I'm putting in nine of 2018. I'm able to pull back the last fiscal day of that month. Now I want to go back three months and I want to pull back the fiscal date that is associated three months ago, which I believe in this case would then be like 6 of 2018. How can I bring back the fiscal date that would be associated with that based off of what I have over here in my date di date dimension table? Well, in order to do this, I think maybe one of the, the quickest ways to do it is to add a new matrix. And we're going to call this the date ref matrix. We'll just leave it called uh, matrix one for right now, I guess. But if I put in a year of 2017, I hit enter. And then I'm going to just call this category year. And then I'm going to put in months down the side, one through 12. And I will call this month. And I'm going to add a new category and I'm going to call it metrics right here. And this E1, I'm going to call month year. And then the next one I'm going to call the month year index. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to actually pivot this here. And on my month year, I'm simply going to create a lookup and it is going to be the at month and an ampersand with a lookup key of month and year like this. And then my month year index is going to be hashtag year month and what that does is it brings back the position of my year in my month so i would expect to see this ascending as time goes on now what i can do is i can say well what is my input year month index well i need to go out and i need to find 9 2018 and find the index that's associated with that so that is going to be a basic select statement i'm going to say select I want to bring back the index. What is my lookup key? It is my month year here. And what is the value I want to bring in? I want to bring in the input month year as my lookup value. So I should expect to see, uh, hold on a second. I got too many arguments going on there. I'm going to just put this right here. I would expect to see 21. Is that true? So if I go over here to nine, of 2018 yeah my index is 21 so since my index is 21 well for my history i want to subtract nine months from it so that would be index 18. so i would put something like this i'd put my uh, month year index history and it is simply going to be this index that is being looked up here so I'd say month index history is equal to the index that's coming in here. And I want to subtract out the history that I'm putting in here, which is going to give me an 18. If I were to go ahead and change this, it would give me 17. And then what I want to do is I want to pull out uh, the historical month year that's associated with um, the 17 index. So again, this is going to be a select statement. What do I want to return? I want to return the month year kind of lookup key here. And what is my key list? It is the index down here. And what value am I looking up? I'm looking up this history. And you would see that it's 5 of 2018, which indeed is four months after the 21st. So I want to find the first fiscal date of 5, 2018. So what I need, then need to do is up here on this historical date start, it's going to equal the select. What do I want to select? I want to select the financial date from my date dim over here. My key list is my financial month and what value do I want to look up? Well, I want to look up this historical month year. And again, that's gonna bring back a, 
a boatload of values. I want to make sure I get the first one in the list, which is going to happen every time here. But to make it ironclad, that indeed I'm getting the minimum value, I'm going to write min. So if I go three months, if I go four months back from uh, 9 of 2018, that would bring me to period 5 of 2018. And if I go to 5 of 2018, my first day of that fiscal month, that's 2019. Time flies when you're scrolling down through a date dim table. Man, that was some serious humor right there. Anyway, uh, I would look and I would expect to see 429 because that is the first day of fiscal year, fiscal month 5 of 2018. Uh, this also works beautifully over years. If I were to put in 18 here, I would expect to see something from 327 of 2018. So again, time is flying as I'm scrolling through this. 327 of 2018 would be 226 of 2017. So that is 18 months ago from this fiscal month and fiscal year. That's how you do it very simply and straightforwardly in Quantrix. I absolutely love this tool and its capabilities. And I hope that uh, you will reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com with any questions you may have in regards to Quantrix. I really do want to make you a Quantrix master. And if there's anything I can do to help you become such, please reach out to me. Uh, and please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.